Today we're going to go into deep space to come up with today's cocktail. Now my name is David Edwards and it's great to have you here today. This cocktail has been sent to me numerous times between Facebook, Instagram, you know, YouTube. Apparently I gotta go make an alien pee in a glass because today's cocktail is called an alien urine sample. And I don't know how I'm gonna make that alien pee in a glass because anytime I think about aliens, I think about the alien from Ridley Scott's Alien. Or the Time Lord. Hello, I'm the Doctor. Having said that, we gotta make one of our ingredients first. So grab yourself a glass and we're going to make a sweet and sour sauce a sweet and sour mix, not sauce. Two totally different things, let's be honest about that. However, it is a simple one to one to one ratio of ingredients. So we're going to start this off with a little bit of lemon and a little bit of limes. So what we'll do is we'll just cut both of these up like so, and then we'll just squeeze them so that we get the exact same amounts. So we'll start this with our large jigger and we'll squeeze out as much as we can, I'm aiming for two ounces of each because I just know I'm going to have to enjoy this cocktail after I've, you know, made an alien pee in the glass, of course. So we'll start off with two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now you're going to do exactly the same amount of lime juice. So again, just squeeze in a good two ounces. Now that'll work out to, you know, 60 mils, just in case I haven't mentioned the actual amount. But two limes will give you approximately that amount because your average lime holds about one ounce or 30 mils of juice. Again, there is a little bit of variation depending on the type of limes you're using. So just make sure that you cut enough. And if you have a little bit left over, you have a bit of a garnish for yourself. So again, two hours, two ounces or 60 mils. And once you've added your two citrus fruit, we need to add our sweetener. In this case, I'm using a one-to-one -one simple syrup being one part water, one part sugar, heat it up till it goes clear. And we'll use, again, the same amount of two ounces or 60 mils. Now that you've added all of these ingredients, what you wanna do is grab yourself a bit of a spoon, give this a good stir because you wanna actually just mix all the ingredients thoroughly and put this off to the side. Now, we're going to start by grabbing ourselves our shaking glass because this is a shaken cocktail. And I'm going to actually add a little bit of ice first. What this will allow me to do is just basically, well, it's not basically, it'll dilute a little bit as we pour everything in and it'll chill at the same time. So when I go to shake this, I won't have to shake it for as long. And we're going to start this with your coconut rum of choice. In this case, I'm using Malibu. It's what I have. You don't need a lot though. What we do need is half an ounce or 15 mils. Your second ingredient is peach schnapps. Now in this case, I'm using Dr. McKillicuddy's. You can use whatever kind you get. And that's the same for any liqueur that you see in this cocktail. Use whatever you can easily get a hold of. And because there's so much sugar and this is a sweet cocktail, you wanna make sure that you're not using stuff that's really expensive. So use one ounce of this or 30 mils. Your third ingredient is going to be a banana liqueur. Now, in this case, I'm using McGinnis. It's a creme de banane. Uh, having said that, they're usually, or most of them are very neon yellow. Uh, you can get some that are a bit softer, a bit more rounded, some with a bit more alcohol. Totally up to you. We're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. And I really love banana liqueurs. They smell great, if somewhat artificial, even in their taste, but it's just something I love. Uh, in the description down below, tell me your favorite liqueur and why. I really wanna know. I also really enjoy melon liqueurs. Now I'm using Midori for this. It's what I have on the shelf. Um, and when you don't clean the lid off properly, it actually gets tight and hard and you get crystallization around the edge. But we don't need a lot. We need a half an ounce or 15 mils. Your next ingredient is your homemade sweet and sour sauce. We don't need a lot, but I've made enough to be able to actually make a couple of cocktails because we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now this is where we interrupt our regularly scheduled program because for this, we actually have to shake what we have right here. So make sure that you have a really good seal, give it a slap and then shake it with a smile. All right, once you've done that, 
top that off with the strength of a thousand aliens. Um, your choice. Put this off to the side and we're going to now serve this in something that is very much a scientific style beaker. In fact, it's just a stirring glass, but it looks good and it makes you think I'm all sciencey and stuff. So what you want to do is fill this up all the way with some ice and this is going to make a fantastic looking drink. Absolutely. Take this and what we're just going to do is using a Hawthorne strainer, we're just going to lightly strain it in. All right, this definitely is kind of neon, kind of something you'd see come out of an alien. However, what we need to do is add a little bit of lemon lime soda. So I'm using Sprite, use your choice. And what we'll do is we'll just add a splash. So probably an ounce, ounce and a half. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got some beautiful separation there, but we're not done yet. We need a little bit of blue curacao. Like I said, we're throwing a little bit of everything at this cocktail. Now you don't need a lot, you need a splash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw in about half an ounce or 15 mils on top. Now, if you want, you could go with a little bit less. Again, you're gonna adjust to your personal flavors. However, if you let this sit for a moment, it's gonna slowly change color, but I'm a little impatient. So look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Let's try it out. <laughs> that is much better than you think it would be. Yes, it's very sweet. However, the flavors are actually balanced in there really, really well. If you like fantastic oddball cocktails like this, take a look after the recipe card right up here.